Hello, my fellow Limitless HBICs. How you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? Um, this is a doozy. Don't don't hate me. Poop snoring in the background. <laughs> Poop is snoring. Um, if you need help figuring out what's going on between you and your manifestation, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the Dropbox below and on the screen. It just went by. Okay. I have TikTok. I have Instagram. Blah, blah, blah. And I have a channel membership where I go live with my channel members every single Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Uh, around 9.30-ish p.m. Let's see. What else? Uh, um, yeah, nothing else. Okay. I'm on my couch again. It's so shitty. Like, it's not sunny. So it's not going to be nice anywhere going. I'm not bringing out my lights because I'm too lazy to bring my lights out. I have lights. I have ring lights. I have multiple ring lights. I have multiple lights for this purpose and I never get them out. Uh, so why did I buy them? I don't know. Why do I do a lot of things? I don't know. Okay, so let's talk. If you notice my video lately, videos lately are like nuggets. They're new nuggets. They're reminders and it's because judging by my coaching calls, judging by my comments, reminders are sometimes necessary because we tend to drown things out when we're manifesting. Meaning, yes, I can bring up a concept. You will know what that concept means. You'll know what it means. You know, you'll know that the perfect definition, you'll think you're applying it to your world. And in reality, we need reminders because we kind of just forget about it. We forget that it's being um, shown to us in our 3D. And this is every, this was everyone is you pushed out. Let me just, for anybody that's new to the law of assumption or new to Neville Goddard's frame of thinking, what everyone is you pushed out is and what it is not. Everyone is you push out is that every single person, every single person in your 3D is a reflection of your beliefs and assumptions your beliefs and your assumptions not your every single individual thought and not only are they your reflection they will be reflecting you not only are they reflecting your beliefs and assumptions they are reflecting the state you are embodying, meaning who you are identifying yourself as today, okay, in this moment as we're talking. So what it doesn't mean, and this is where some people really get tripped up, because I get this question a lot. This is why I know they're getting tripped up. They will say to me, yeah, well, I'm thinking that I want them to call me all the time. I want them to text me. So that's what I've been affirming, okay, and that's not happening. Yeah, because they're not reflecting your each individual thought and that that little phrase your thoughts create is a misconception and people especially newer people misunderstand that and we should we as coaches should join together and kind of like steer away from using that phrase including myself because yes uh, yes thoughts create but not every single mingle dingle one it's your state you are manifesting from the state you're embodying. So it's your beliefs and assumptions. So people are reflecting the beliefs and assumptions that are attached to the state you are currently in. Period. Okay? Period. So, God, she is, she's literally next to me. So I'm, you know, it's loud. I've tried waking her up. She just, just doesn't give a shit. Um... When it comes to everyone as you pushed out and you manifesting, and this could be manifesting anybody, doesn't have to be like a lover specific person. So this can apply to family members, friends, coworkers, all that shit too, okay? But there's something when we're manifesting a specific person that I believe we lose sight of. New people, and I just want you to know, I'm not picking at you, newbies. We were all newbies at one point. Even, even I had a, a, a place in time where I didn't know shit or what anything meant. Everyone's been there, no judges. But sometimes we need a little reminder, right? Or a new lesson. When you're manifesting, 
a specific person. Most popular type of specific person is love. So I'm going to talk about that. It cannot be avoided. If you are in no contact, if you have contact and you're being triggered by your specific person, you need to address the triggers. They have to be addressed. Meaning, when you're desiring to manifest a specific person, uh, your love interest, maybe it's an ex, maybe it's brand new love, it, it doesn't matter. Your beliefs are going to be reflected at some point. Especially if you have not addressed what your beliefs and assumptions are around love and relationships. On top of, if this is a person you already know, what beliefs you hold of them. So when unhappy, undesired circumstances show up in our relationships or in our life regarding our specific person, we are very quick to lose our shit. Guilty. We're quick to lose our shit. We're quick to think automatically this is not working or something's failed, manifestations failed, right? We don't like to accept that this is our bridge of incidents, but what we never really take a look at, and I shouldn't say never, what we have a difficult time really accepting is they are showing you something that is alive and brewing within you. So when you are having thoughts and feelings that SP is not showing up the way you want, they are showing you something that has to change. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? Your person is showing you the manifestation or the evidence of something alive within you. Now, granted, some of you might already be on top of that shit and you're working at it. Great. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the person who is triggered relentlessly by their specific person. I'm talking to you. I was that person too one time. So that's how I know you're doing it. Okay. I'm talking to you because we all get so damn fixated on fixing the specific person. We want them to change. And we rarely want to look inward. And if you're avoiding looking inward, addressing what's really going on in your mind about love and relationships, because your 3D is telling you what's going on in your mind for what it's worth. Your 3D is showing you. So if you're experiencing circumstances that do not feel good, right? And I, I, I know what that feels like. It, it's being thrown in your face. Like, hi, I exist you feel this way, you think this way, you believe in this, you believe men or women are going to cheat on you, you believe that you're not going to be chosen, you believe that you're never going to be a priority, you believe you're never going to have a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship, you believe you're going to be alone your entire life. The circumstances are telling you, this has got to go girl, or this has got to go guy, it's got to go so before you jump on the train of wanting to just change and conform your SP, you got to look within first. There is a reason why it is relentlessly said by Neville Goddard. You've got to look within. There is never anything to change but self. You're not changing your specific person. You're not changing your circumstances. You're changing you so that they can reflect back. Is that making sense? I hope. Now, granted, I know there's a bunch of you who already know and understand this concept. There are some who need a reminder, especially those of you who show up in the comment sections pointing out every single thing that your SP is doing that you don't like. And I'm not picking on you. I used to be you. I used to feel, think the same damn way. I'm still guilty of having those moments even today, even in this, you know, whatever. None of us are perfect. You're not supposed to be perfect. You, you don't have to be perfect to manifest. But you're never going to be able to get away 
or avoid looking within. And if you don't, you're not going to have the results you want. And I don't say that from a place of limiting you or scaring you. I'm just trying to help you. You've got to look within. What are your personal inside beliefs around love and relationships? And you just having the desire that you want to be in a relationship? That's not the problem. It doesn't matter that you're thinking that. It's your fears around love, around relationships that need to be looked at, including if you are manifesting someone you already know, the way you continue to describe them matters. So be sure to be using words that you actually want to experience with this person. Calling them cold, calling them quiet, not very good at communicating, right? They're, they're not emotionally available or whatever the fucking typical bullshit terminology we use to describe others. Stop describing them in a way that you don't want to experience. The idea is you need to be ahead of the game to get what you want in the 3D, not the other way around. Most of us wait till too late. We wait until the circumstance is in on our damn face when the whole purpose of manifesting is you need to start here first to get what you want out there. The 3D is the old news. The 3D is the time lag or it's just your old 1976 newspaper. This is where you're creating new. This is where everything starts. Your tomorrow, your next week, your next month, your next year is dependent on what you're thinking now. Who you are saying you are right now. Look at your circumstances and figure out what beliefs are at play. And my advice to you, and I say this with love, I know there are videos out there that are telling you to do things in your 3D in order to manifest that specific person. And specifically, I'm talking about videos that are telling you to deliberately go into no contact. I'm not one to tell you how to run your 3D. I'm not. But I'm also not telling you to blow up your SP's phone. I'm telling you, get your fucking hands out of the 3D. Stop doing anything in the 3D. You don't have to go no contact to manifest your specific person. You do have to stop being a, a crazy stalker bitch, though. That's got to go. That can't be in the equation anymore. We don't need to do works in the 3D. That's that's 100% of the problem, to be honest, is we get into this old habit of thinking, the old 3D way of life is we want to take action in the 3D. When it's time for you to take action, you'll be inspired to do it. Other than that, get your hands out of the 3D. But forcing yourself when you are having somewhat decent communication with your specific person, forcing yourself into no contact because you think, right? Because some coach is telling you to go into no contact, but you have open communication with SP. Might not be the relationship you want, but you're, you are having chit chat. You just closing the door and not talking to them anymore for no damn reason. Number one. It is going to bother you. And number two, that's forcing and manipulating the 3D. Stop. Okay? Don't do that. Don't do that. Your work, your focus should be up here and nowhere else. Fuck the 3D. Okay? Get your hands out of the 3D and go back inside. Go in your mind. That's what matters. Because if you can't get out of that 3D, listen, I'm telling you, you have a manipulation issue. And I say that with love. By manipulating, you're trying to poke and force things to happen out here. And that's not manifesting. That's manipulating. You will be inspired to do things when, when the universe, your God, your subconscious needs you to do something. You'll get the impulse to go do something. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Pooh! Jesus, woman! You're sucking the air out of the room.
that'll be a little extra. Yeah.